Okay, so now let's fetch the user information in this screen and the user info screen. So for that, there is many ways to do it. You can run, for example, this widget by a stream or future builder, but I will use another method. So for that, we can create a new method to fetch the items or to fetch the user information. For that, let's initialize a void method. Uh, let's name it get data. And first thing we need to do is to get the ID. So let's initialize the user ID in here. Let's say user ID. And below it, let's initialize the name. And below it, let's initialize the email. And also let's initialize the joint at. And last thing we need to initialize it as the phone number, like this. Okay, so once we initialize it, now we can get the user ID from this auth. And we've already initialized it since we implement the logout. So in here, let's say user, user, it will be equal to the auth dot current user then now we can set the id so in here let's say uid equal to user dot uid i'll show you something for example if you type in user as you can see there is many things that you can get from it you can set the username as I told you, once we implement the sign up, we can fetch the display name from here, but we need to set it first. We need to fetch the email, for example. So user email in here, and I will print it and show you what will happen. So in let's say user email and access it, and we need to call this method. And the best place to call it is the end state. Let's save it now go to it so here it is okay now we can keep it like this or we can fetch it from the fire store just like what we will do for the others I will comment this so below it we can initialize something called document snapshot to get the data and for sure we need to get the data just like we write it to the fire store so in here let's say Actually, we need to name it and I will name it user doc and it will be equal to firebase firestore dot instance dot collection just like we write as I said and in here we need to access the user then the collection of the user ID and in here we say get like this. I'm still getting an error because this is actually a future. Here it is. So in here we say await and we need to add a sync keyword in here. Just like this. Now we need to get the data and read it. And if we print this user doc, it will be a map. So we need to access the user doc to fetch the user information. So in here, for example, you can say name, it will be equal to the user doc.get and now we say which field that we want to get. So the field actually is the name of the item that you want to get from here. So in here we need to get the name. I will print the name now. So let's say below it print say name and access it like this now I will save it and give it a try here it is name testers so we need to do the same thing to the other and for sure you can read the email just like we did in here but I will keep this way to show you many ways so in here let's say email equal to user.email 
we still need to initialize the joint date or get the value from it, for it. Let's copy this, paste that, and be sure from the value in the file store in here. So what left to do is the phone number. So we need to say phone number equal to the phone number. Here it is. And it is an integer. So here it is. And I initialize it as int in here. So let's say phone number in here. Now let's use each of these items. For example, let's say, okay, so once done, we need to, or we can show the username if you want, but I will just fill the information. We need to fill the email, for example. So in here, instead of this, we can just type it like this. Or we can get rid of this and place it like this. I will save it now. Okay, so I got an error. Let's do a check if it is null or not. And now I will restart it and give it a try. Okay, so it is null. So we need to make sure that it is being initialized. So to get this value, 